what um so how did the did the rules like for not rules were there still Sith academies at the time of the prequels and all that? Uh, not that no, not not at that time because if you remember when uh, when Qui Gon first encounters uh, Darth Maul and he returns to give his report, and they're talking about it, and the Council is saying, "Are are you sure that you fought a Sith? Because we walked them out, and wiped them out. Yeah, I mean they thought they were history." But they said, "When there's one, there's two. There's two. So." Um, yeah, so I don't think there was there was Sith Academy because I don't think that there were supposed to be any, okay. uh, yeah, any Sith at all left. So we know from the time of the Old Republic that, that we see in the game the Old Republic, uh, we know that, that obviously the Sith Empire is going to lose and that the well, Republic is going to win because, you know, despite Darth Shiel's uh, <laughs> grand, you know, uh, uh, grand scheme and yes. uh, you know his massive destroying of, of the Republic's plans as a character I play in the Old Republic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, they still fall at some point um, and the Old Republic or the, the Republic itself gains, gains a greater hold. Um, so uh, yeah I think they're just probably systematically just you know, wiped out in the war. I think that because they eradicated the Sith it threw the balance of the force because the force has to have both parts of it. It threw it widely out of balance. That's why it was going back and forth between the yeah. Republic, you know, and then the evil part took over for a long time. Mm -hmm. and the the good, the rebels and the Jedi's had to rebuild again. And finally, <coughs> well, then they wiped them out again. So I, I hadn't <laughs> seen anything after. I didn't read any of the seventh and eighth and ninth, but <laughs> I'm not sure if they, eventually there becomes a balance again. But. Uh, I think it depends on who decides to write the next book because it seems like yeah it seems like that you know everybody's got their their own idea of what that balance is or should be how the how the force works exactly um, yeah. you know then you've got the the whole series that that multiple writers get involved in with the Yuzhen Bong. Uh, and that's you know that's a completely different uh, take on it because it's not Sith versus the Jedi. It's you know this other this other race. Um, but uh, but I do know that it, at some point further down the line in, in the ancestry of the Skywalkers, you have uh, different members of the Skywalker and Solo families uh, turning to the dark side. And you've got mm -hmm. you know Sith lords out of them, and they've got to be. Uh, resist didn't fall. Um, so at some point the Sith do come back and, and cause more problems that have to be uh, balanced out, I guess. As they like so, to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we do enjoy taking our control. Now, uh, the other guys have, have already had a chance to answer this, but if you could choose any Jedi Master or Sith Lord to be your master, you could be the, the apprentice, or Padawan of anybody, who would you choose? The Emperor. The Emperor. The Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. He's pretty powerful. They, yeah. Well, George Lucas has actually said that uh, the uh, the Emperor is the mo most powerful Force user or Sith ever. So he, he is the most powerful. And uh, chose a good master. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Although, if 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 Darth Vader had not you know, been hindered by the the getting chopped up and <laughs> become half robot. Yeah, no. <laughs> he he would have surpassed the emperor. He would have mm -hmm. definitely been more powerful, though, because of uh, everything that happened to him. It really cut down his potential. Um, and and that brings up a, a, another fun point to talk about. Uh, have you ever thought about the power level of Luke Skywalker? He's the most powerful Jedi ever. Confirmed. Did you know that? No. No. It's it's Ken. Oh. He's the most powerful Jedi ever. And I like to think because if you you know when you when you think about uh, his conversations with Obi Wan and Yoda, and they're talking about him having to confront Darth Vader, they're telling him you've got to kill your father. <coughs> and he's saying no, I can't do that. And they say, well then the Sith have won. 
So they don't think that it's possible to bring Darth Vader back from the dark side. They are the wisest, uh, most learned Jedi masters. I mean, these aren't you know just guys who, who you know just don't know whatever. I mean, these guys are the Jedi masters, uh, even the masters of the masters. Even. Yeah. And they don't think this is possible, and yet Luke is able to do that. He's able to, to bring Vader back to the dark side and become an Anakin. Um, I didn't so think I, about it like that. I think that's one thing that, that shows his true power. That's what others are thinking is possible. Well, you restarted the. Jedi, you know, the Jedi Temple and everything. So. And yeah. with, uh, with with less little, training, you know, less training. I mean, yeah, less we were talking about that. You know, the, yeah. you know, the, they they gained their masters in their their early teen years, and at that time, they've already been training since they were little kids. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Luke starts when he's eighteen, has at best a couple of years to to get any training in, and yet, you know, <laughs> is able to go on to to yeah. restart the Jedi Academy. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. I thought Anakin was too young and he was, or too young, too old, and he was right, yeah. nine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> and um, we answered this earlier, but um, I think I might know your answer, but if you could have any lightsaber color, what would it be? Red. Figure. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you believe? Double. Double blade. Very nice. We were talking about having different color ones, too. <laughs> like, one of those red, one of those green. 